I heard on the TV that it's uh, a good business to cultivate mangoes here in Spain. So. How are you guys doing? I'm doing amazing. Yes, what a nice morning today. It's sunny but cold. Yes, oh goodness, I hate the winter, but it's coming. Yeah, you know, this winter is coming. So, yes, it's coming to Barcelona, and I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. What do you think, guys, about the winter? Do you love the winter? Do you hate the winter? Honestly, I love summer. I love these days that you are sweating. Yes, <laughs> I like this. And and when I was in Indonesia, oh god, that was the paradise. I loved every single day there. Just hot, warm. I love it. I love it. Now in Barcelona, winter is coming and it's cold. I'm now at home, so I'm with. Uh, t-shirt but when I go outside it's cold as and I cannot wear a t-shirt so yes well anyway I just got two packages and two yeah two packages and I thought it would be nice sharing with you the package opening time because honestly I have no clue what is it so it's always a nice surprise to see what's inside the packages and sharing it with you. Let's go and let's open the packages. Yes. Wow. First package here. Pretty big package. Pretty big package from China. Let's see. Well, both are from China. So we'll see what are they. So this is it, Andrea and Adria, that's me, yes. How cool is that? It's cool, right? This is for the wedding, yeah. I just put it there so Andrea sees when she arrives but then we're gonna keep it safe for the wedding okay let's open the second package let's see this one is big yes bigger than the previous one which was big already let's see Ooh. This is inside of the package. Do you see the text? Well, it says Mrs. Andrea. And yeah, that's for Andrea's wedding clothes. Andrea's dress. So we ordered this in AliExpress. If you don't know the site, aliexpress.com. And was really cheap, at least for Spain. So. I think we paid like, I don't know, let me check. For this we paid $13, which is quite okay, with the name, print and everything. And for the letters we paid $26, which is also quite okay. Here in Spain you would pay more than the double just for the same, so we are pretty happy. Yeah. All right, guys, I've been working now for some, a couple, three, four hours, I don't even know. And I have to go out now because I need to do some stuff. But first, I have to 
take out the boots of my roller skates why because i need to fix them so yeah i have to get them to a shop those shops that fix shoes because i have to fix them so i'm gonna take them and i'm gonna remove the boots I have them ready one boot over here and the other one here so I can go now to bring them to the show how do you say this guy show shoe man <laughs> the man of the shoes <laughs> all right so however it's called I'm gonna bring them to him so to see what can he do and I'm also going to buy some stuff because I need some stuff some eating stuff some fruits and something else let's go guys Okay, he just left the boots on in the uh, shop that is going to repair them. And now, well, the price, they, he told me he didn't want to give me a price. But at the end I was like, but please say, tell me something. Is it going to be 10, 20, 50, 100? I don't know, I have no clue. And he said, all right, it's going to be more or less 20 euros, but it depends on the materials that I'm going to use. So. I will tell you exactly tomorrow when I have them done. So tomorrow I have to go and take them. Okay, now I'm going to the supermarket because I need to buy some things, some food, and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store to buy some fruit. Yes. I'm back home and somehow I managed to carry all of these from the supermarket back home. I couldn't even record when I was in the grocery store because I was like oh, uh, 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 carrying all the bags trying to grab the fruits. <laughs> it was impossible to grab the camera. So maybe next time. Yeah. All right, let's put things on the fridge. In the fridge, not on the fridge, in the fridge. The real deep down you is the whole universe. Some days ago I talked about how good yogurts are in Spain. Yeah, yogurts. I've tried them in a lot of different places, but so far in Spain are amazing. Yogurts, cheese, anything that comes from milk. So this 
is a real example of what I said. Oh. Ooh, delicious. You have to try them out. In Spain, they are completely different than in the rest of the world. Well, at least where I've been. I don't know. I haven't traveled around all the world. And I have to say that this yogurt is not one of the good yogurts. It's just a normal mediocre yogurt from Carrefour. So like basic yogurt. Those ones white labeled but there are some other good ones that you can search and see specifically in the supermarket so ones that come from like special brands that only do yogurts and they are much 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 more better than these ones but so far i like these ones this out guys it's already late and I'm still awake without having dinner yeah Andrea came and we've been together working on the computer with the wedding website and some other details that I will show you in a future vlog not this one because they are secret for now so yes it's now late as you saw and I have to eat some, prepare some dinner for myself. Let me see what I have in the fridge. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna get this mango. Yes. So, I love mangoes, but Unfortunately, here in Spain, they are pretty expensive. So, the, now, it's like the season here in Spain and you can get some of them pretty cheap. But still, they are expensive compared to, for example, what you would pay in Thailand or in Indonesia. So, for example, for this man mango, I paid, I think, like 1 euro 50. But it's like a very very good deal. Normally the price is like 4 euros, 5 euros. I've seen even 8 euros for one piece of mango. But not in season like now. Yeah, very sad. And by the way, recently I discovered that mango is one of the fresh fruits I think it's the the fresh fruit most most consumed in the whole world it's also I think the one with more vi variety so there are thousands or hundreds of different varieties of mangoes and it's consumed all over the world so it makes this fruit really interesting the problem is that here in Spain for some reason it's not very consu consumed. It's also quite new. I remember when I was a child and almost nobody, I, I mean I didn't know anybody or like obviously not my my friends but I haven't seen any mangoes in the supermarket or even new people who were eating mangoes. It has just been recently that people have started eating mangoes in Spain and I think it's I heard on the TV that it's a, a good business to cultivate mangoes here in Spain so uh, businesses that were cultivating different fruits in the past now they are growing mangoes because it's it has the same effort as other fruits and and it can give you a good revenue. Oh. 
Alright guys, so after this mango masterclass, I'm gonna have to leave you guys. But before, please tell me what do you think about mangoes? Do you also like them? Do you eat them frequently? And I would like also to know what is the average price in your country for the mangoes? Is it the same as in Spain or is it cheaper? Yeah, it's also nice to know things from other countries so that's all for today guys yeah some recording some interesting stuff and some groceries and shopping for home so guys see you tomorrow bye bye